Uh, very helpful. All right. Thank you, Danielle. Well, there's a lot of talk about the planes and the automobiles. Hey, what about the trains? Amtrak is expecting also to see a spike this holiday season, and that's where we find our Washington, D.C. reporter, Felicia Ashley. She's live from Union Station tonight. Felicia, how are the crowds where you are? It has been coming in in different waves right now. It's calmed down just a bit, but just moments ago, this whole area was packed with people. The line reaching from the start all the way back to where I am right now. Now, when we spoke to Amtrak representatives, they told us the busiest day to come through this train station, it will be tomorrow as well as Sunday. They also said, you know, when they were tracking all these spikes from 2022 to 2023, they saw a 16% spike, and this year, this Thanksgiving season, they say they expect that to see a spike that is even higher. Now, today we spoke to some travelers. We found two sisters that were sitting here and waiting. They said they're actually traveling together to provide some comfort to each other because of all the crowds that they're expecting. That was why we wanted to get here early because we know it's always crazy this time of year. So it is really nice that they have these like seating areas for us because you can just tell. And we spoke to those sisters in Amtrak's new waiting room because of all these crowds they have been getting. That waiting room can hold more than 150 people. It also has charging stations. So coming up live at 6, we'll actually give you a look inside of that new waiting area. We'll also give you more details on what you need to do to make sure that your travel experience by rail goes smoothly. Reporting live from Union Station, Felicia Ashley, 7 News.